Hi guys, we're feeling fun and flowery today for day four of our flexibility week. So I am very caffeinated and ready to do this little stretch. Make sure you're warm first. I'll pop my warm ups here or here and down below. So let's begin. Let's do some shoulder rolls. So you're gonna take your shoulders and just really big, rolling those shoulders out. And let's bring it forward now. We're going to open up those shoulders and the hips. Let's take a big reach out and over to the left side, reaching really nice and long here, and then coming back up. We're going to switch that to the other side, stretching nice and long, and then coming right back up. We're going to go forward into a flat back here. So my spine is nice and long, bringing my arms up overhead holding here for just a moment so we're not going all the way down yet. Now bring your arms out to the side of your body into a T, keeping that back long, neck long, and let's drop it all the way down. Just hang here for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Make sure that you're breathing through the entire stretch this evening. Well, it might not be evening for you, but you want to breathe through the whole stretch. Getting all that oxygen to your muscles helps them relax, which makes it feel a little bit better. So let's inhale, and then as you exhale out, see if you can go a little bit further into that stretch. And then go ahead and take a bend in the knees. If you're all the way down already, try and walk your hands through your legs. And if you're not all the way down, just try and pull yourself a little bit closer down towards the floor. And then keep your body wherever it is now, if you can, and straighten those legs up. And just hold here for a little moment longer. Take a deep breath in. Let's bend those knees and exhale out. Try and reach a little bit further and then straighten those legs, keeping your body right where it is. Okay, let's go ahead and twist over to one side. So I'm keeping my feet and my legs exactly how they are, but I'm just reaching over and grabbing my right foot or ankle, or you can just grab the back of your leg, whatever you are capable of in this moment. Let's take our arm up to the sky. So I'm gonna take my right arm up to the sky while holding onto that ankle. Getting a little bit of chest opening here and a deeper hamstring stretch. And go ahead and bring that hand back down. Let's go over to the other side now. So over to your left, just holding in place a few breaths, head nice and heavy, sinking into the floor, and then reach that left arm up towards the sky. From here, let's bring that hand back down and come back to the center. Hold here for a moment. Grab on to your elbows and just hang down here. You can rock your body gently from side to side if that feels good to you. Or you can just, you know, let gravity do its thing and hang down. All right, we're gonna come up, put our hands on our knees and Turn those legs out to our sumo stretch. You can do elbows on the knees. You can also do hands on the knees. The most important thing is that you let your bottom go straight down between those legs. Sorry, my joints are just cracking, crackling, cracking. <laughs> Sink down into that stretch. Deep breath. And 
Okay, let's twist over to the right side into a runner's lunge. This little set that I'm wearing is cute, but sometimes with really high-waisted stuff, it kind of like rolls down weirdly on me. I don't know if y'all have had that problem before. Like it's too high-waisted, it's like not staying up there. So in this runner's lunge, you want your back leg, this leg that's straight, to have energy through it. I wanna feel like that heel is peeling up towards the sky. Front leg, you should have a nice little 90 degree angle here. Make sure that your knee does not go past your toes like this, and you're also not picking up the heel on the floor. So heel, whole foot is flat, 90 degree angle, nice and strong. And from here, why don't we go ahead and straighten that back leg up and we'll bring it into a nice little yoga warrior two. Reaching long through those fingertips, gazing forward over those that hand. And then you can place your front hand down onto or your elbow, down onto your knee, and then reach over with your opposite arm. So you have your right hand, right arm on your knee left arms up in the air, reaching long. And from here, let's twist out of that, back to warrior two, back to a runner's lunge. And in the runner's lunge, I'm gonna drop my back knee down, turn out my front leg, and drop down to my elbows. So a deep hip stretch here might be too much for you. And if it is, modify as you need to. So you can stay up in the runner's lunge or I don't know what other variations there are. But let's just breathe here for a moment. breath here and then let's reach back and grab onto our back foot pulling that foot in towards your body holding just a few more breaths releasing it down. Let's sit back, straightening that back leg, your left leg. Feel your spine as long as you can here. Don't arch your back in the stretch. And then let's sit all the way back down on that left leg. You can flex or point the front foot, but reach nice and long over that leg. And now let's come all the way back up into runner's lunge. Feeling nice and long. How did we get into this in the first place? I already forgot. Well, I don't remember. So we're gonna straighten that back leg up and just hang here for a moment. I do a lot of stretching in my life, teaching dance and making videos. So sometimes I get lost. <laughs> Let's just hang here and actually, why don't we Stay here. Why don't we bend that back leg? Bend your left and pull yourself down closer to the right. While we're here, we might as well. And then straighten that leg. Keep your body as close as you can to your leg. And one more time, let's bend the back leg. Keep the front straight. Reach over. And 
and then let's straighten it out. Here, I want you to pick up the heel on that back foot. So you're up on your toes, you're in a releve. It's gonna force you to get a little bit closer to that front leg. And then as you're closer here, try and keep it there as you lower that back heel down. And I do remember how we got into this now. We came from our little sumo. So why don't we go back to this lunge? And then we're gonna just turn to the front into our sumo and reverse back the other way. So we're gonna switch to the left into our runner's lunge. Feeling energy through that back leg. If you don't feel anything here, try squeezing your glute muscles, the muscles in your bottom, that will help you encourage that hip stretch. You also can try leaning your body weight forward just a little bit, but being careful that that front knee does not go over your toes. Okay. From here, we're gonna twist the back heel, come up into warrior two, reaching long over that front knee. Kind of a little quad workout, some balancing as well. Take that front arm, bring the elbow to the knee, and then reach over with your other arm. So left arm is on my knee, right arm is up in the air. And then twist and open it back out to warrior two. And then twist back into your lunge. Drop the back knee down. And if you'd like, come all the way down to your elbows. Just feel yourself sinking deeper into the stretch here. A few more breaths. And then we're gonna come up, grab onto our back foot. And releasing it down. Coming back into your lunge here. And then we're gonna straighten it up and hang heavy over that left leg. Go ahead and take a bend in that back leg. Reaching down a little bit closer to the front leg. And then straightening it up. Again, bend that back leg. And straighten it up. Next, we're gonna lift the back heel. Releve. Basically come up onto the toes of the back foot. And then lower that heel back down. Let's drop it back down into our lunge. And then instead of going to sumo, we're gonna go into our, whatever it's called, Spider-Man, horse, this thing. So I'm twisting towards the front. My heel is down on the floor and I'm sinking down as low as I can, making sure my hips are going straight down. They're not pushing back. Let's switch to the other side. And 
go ahead and take a seat down onto the floor. Let's go right over into pigeon pose. Which side should we do first? The left. Left side. So your left leg is bent in front of you. Right leg is behind you. It's straight. It's reaching nice and long and it's right behind you. I'm saying that again because sometimes we like to splay it out to the side instead of getting it right behind ourselves. And then from here, you have the option to drop it down all the way to your elbows or even further and drop that forehead. find this stretch to be one where I have to pay the most attention to my breath to make sure that I'm allowing my hip to sink closer to the floor because this is a more difficult stretch for me. Alright, slowly bringing that head up if you had it down on the floor. And let's switch the way our, our feet and legs are right now. So instead of the front leg being bent, it's gonna straighten out and the back leg will be bent. And we're in a jazz split. So it's a half split. Now you might be cheating this. Make sure you're not cheating this stretch. The way to know if you're cheating it is if, if you have that leg straight behind you or not, um, because you might be cheating it by bringing it over to the side like this. So you want it to be right behind you. And one way you could get into it is very slowly kind of doing a half split like this and then gradually lowering the front leg, however you want to get into it. But go ahead and reach forward. And now we're gonna reach back behind ourselves. So I'm just placing my hands behind me here. You can go down to your elbows or even further, depending on the amount of space you have. Obviously I'm against a wall, so I cannot go any further. I would. This should be stretching your hip, the front of it. And from here, let's come back up and do a switcheroo to the other side. So first in pigeon, bending your right leg, straightening out the left. I'm gonna scoot up just a little bit, maybe. Here we go. Checking on your form here, checking on your breath, and then if you want to, go down all the way to your elbows, potentially put your forehead down. Try and relax the muscles in your face, the muscles in the back of your neck, the muscles of your right hip and glute, and just let gravity do its thing. A few more breaths. And let's come back up slowly. Swap our legs, bending the back, straightening the front, reaching long.
Okay, now reach back behind you. And honestly, in this position, you could bend the front leg as well. And be kind of in this Z sit. And it's still gonna stretch your hip out, basically the same. Stretch those legs out into a straddle. And let's go straight for the, the money. Let's go straight down the middle. And walk our hands out. I'm gonna stop bothering with these pants because they're not gonna stay up. Reaching as far down as you can, keeping the knees looking up to the sky. So you're rotating those legs outward. Trying to get that chest and that belly all the way down to the floor. And slowly get yourself back up. I wasn't doing a very good job of keeping my legs turned out. But do as I say, not as I do. Okay, shake those legs out. Let's head on into, oops, our splits. I'm gonna start with my right split, which, okay, this actually is your left. So you can do your left or your right, whatever you want. This time I'm actually gonna work on my, I don't really know what the proper word is, like my box split where both my legs are parallel. So I'm coming into it like this, both legs parallel, and then just slowly inching my legs closer down to the floor. I just like to switch it up sometimes because I pretty much always do my split with my leg in the back turned out just because of dance, that's what we do. But I find that this gives me a different stretch in the front of my hip. Make sure that I'm not cheating my split as well. Because sometimes when we turn out that back leg, we end up cheating it. So I started working on this guy like back in high school. Whenever we stretched on my dance team, I would just do my box split. And it took a little while to get the flexibility for this, but here I am today. Keep on holding. I don't know what practical application this has to anything I do, but it feels nice and it's cool looking, I guess. That's a lot of things in dance. <laughs> Just like looks cool. Okay, let's relax out of that and go on to the other side. <laughs> Whichever one you didn't do, so witcheroo. Here we go. Ooh, I might give myself a carpet burn if I do this too much. See this one? I don't think I'm all the way down. Give me a second, I'll get there. Shake that out. Let's go for the middle split now. <laughs> However you want to get into it. How do I want to get into it today? This. Deep breath in. 
breathe out. Let your body relax, even though it's not comfortable. Let's do a couple more breaths here. And relax. I'm gonna go through a little frog stretch here and sit myself up. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed another classic Kayleen stretch. Um, I would love to have your feedback though. So if there's anything that you wanna see more of, anything you like in the stretches that is helpful for you, I don't know, just give me feedback, always appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Hope to have you back for tomorrow's, for day five, and all the rest of the days. Let's get flexible together, or stay flexible. Um, have a great rest of your day, or night. Bye!